What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher McCarthy and on today's episode we have something very very special. We are going to be touring a penthouse unit in the original Playboy Mansion. Yes, 1340 North State Parkway. This penthouse unit features four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms with 4,000 square feet of livable space. It also has a walkability score of around 84%, which means typically you should be able to access all of your core amenities within a 10 minute walk. Now, before we get into this incredible home tour, I wanna to give a huge shout out to Jennifer Ames, the listing agent. Without her, this video would not be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With that said, let's get into it. Let's go. Welcome in. First, as you can see, this door is completely massive. Look how thick it is. It's like three inches thick. And a cool detail is this brass doorknob that's very, very heavy, just a cool detail. As soon as we come inside, we're welcomed by this nice wide open foyer area. We've got the nice wide oak flooring and we have this really elegant, chic mood lighting that's tucked neatly in this tray ceiling. Such a cool detail. Now, I know a lot of you might be like, hey Chris, as soon as I come in, where do I hang my coat? Right this way. We're gonna take this hallway right here and then make a right and we have your coat closet perfectly situated here, tucked away from all your guests and your powder room is right here. So as you can see, we've got our coats hung up right there, but you can see there's plenty of space to hang up. You could probably hang up, you know, 20 coats right here in this closet area. And I love how they have it staged with this little uh, seating right there. So you get to put on your shoes or do whatever you need to do. Roman, why don't you go inside that powder room so they can get a nice look inside of this powder room. You've got the nice pedestal sink with more of those brass brush details. I love how they transition the white oak into the bathroom most of the time. They just put tile inside of the bathroom. So the fact that they just transition is a really cool detail. Roman, what do you think about that? I think that's really neat. You don't really see that in a lot of houses. Definitely. Now, continuing the tour this way, we have our living room area. As you can see, you have a built-in desk, cool Playboy vintage magazines, and one thing I really love is the amount of storage space that you have in this home. You just push here, and you have a whole hidden closet. One here, and one right there at the other side of the room. You could barely tell those are closets. I know, I know, I know, it's so cool. When we had the first brokers open, um, I actually had no idea what it was. Um, a lot of the agents who popped in didn't know either, but that's what that is, hidden closet. Um, you have tons of natural lighting that come through these windows. I love how it's trimmed in black. And you also have the same tray ceiling above with the ambient lighting in the tray ceiling, which is just super cool. I can only imagine what this looks like at night. Now, making our way this way, we are now in the butler's pantry. You've got plenty of built-ins. You've got quartz countertops, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Plenty of storage space, plenty of shelving. Um, as you can see, you could probably fit all of your spices just on this section of the storage space. And then Roman, here you have a nice desk set up with plenty of natural light just flooding into the space. Why do you think this desk is here inside of this pantry? I'm not really sure. I've never seen this before, actually. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, one thing is if you have a house like this and you love to entertain, you might have like 40 people come through. You're going to need a chef that is going to need to get organized and they're going to want to sit down, organize and plan all of the things that they're preparing for the event. So just really thoughtful design and it really works well in this space. Now, continuing on this way, we have this massive kitchen. Um, this center island is 13 feet long by six feet wide, completely huge. You've got this nice six uh, burner wolf range and then above you've got a built-in hood in the ceiling. Such a cool detail, I've actually never seen that before. What do you think about that, Roman? 
Very neat, very neat. Definitely. We're so used to seeing those huge, dramatic, custom, uh, you know, hoods that come down on the wall, but the fact that that's like kind of out the way, pretty cool. Now, let's talk a little bit about what you have in this kitchen area. Here, everything is custom paneled. You've got your dishwasher here. You've got your Kohler. Oh, I wouldn't really call this a farmhouse sink because farmhouse sinks, you can kind of see the front of the sink, but it still has that same finish as a farmhouse sink. You've got, you know, a drawer here for composite or other trash necessities. You have a ice maker right here, which is super convenient. And here you have more garbage cans right there. I really love how the gold brass is um, carried throughout the house. Definitely, it's a really fresh pop and it definitely looks super luxurious. Here we have a Sub-Zero refrigerator. This is the original one, but as you can see, they paneled it nicely to match the custom paneling that they did on either side of the sink. Now, I don't want you to miss this because I know a lot of people probably have, especially when we did the brokers open, but as you can see, there's actually outlets here and you have storage that goes all the way underneath the center island, which is very, very cool. Now, continuing the tour this way, we're gonna come down and go into the family room area. And as you can see, nice wide open, all these windows just let in tons of natural light. We've got tray ceiling detail, more of that ambient lighting. And as we make our way this way, we've got a nice black fireplace with black marble at the base. We also have black marble over here in these window seals, which is really nice. And we also have this custom built-in bookshelf. And right this way, we have the first bedroom on this level. It is the only bedroom on this level. Um, Ramon, why don't you just go ahead and pan in so they can see the space. A decent sized bedroom. If this were my property, I would definitely utilize this as some sort of guest bedroom. Um, I like how, you know, it's its own little thing. If you close this door, this is the entire space. So your guests would have a little desk tons of natural light coming in, their own ensuite bathroom. Again, you've got these chevron floors, very nice. And I love how they transition this mirror that goes all the way at that angle. I mean, it's just really cool. What do you think about this bathroom, Ramon? Yeah, I've never seen an angle mirror like this. I really love it. It's really, really cool. And also you've got more luxurious tile work. And then if you can pan in closer, come, come check out this this subway tile, it's not really subway tile because I mean, I've never really seen anything that has this sort of like pearlish sheen to it, but it's vertical and it looks really cool from like in person because it just has this, you know, pearl like sheen to it. That's just really chic. Okay, so continuing the tour, we're gonna make our way past the family room and back into the dining room area. So now this way we have the dining room area. This table is pretty big. You could probably put uh, chairs on either side, turning it from where it is now from six to eight. Um, and then you've got this really beautiful chandelier above, uh, perfectly appointed in the middle of this tray ceiling. Again, you have the mood lighting. And another thing is, you know, JNL Structural USA, this is a support beam. I love, come a little bit closer so they can see this support beam underneath the staircase. I love how they have this exposed structural element. It kind of gives you that industrial loft feel, um, which is really cool. Coming this way, you have a pocket door uh, when we come into this office area. Again, you have a tray ceiling that's a little bit higher and the mood lighting. You have floating shelves here and a big window um, that brings in a decent amount of natural light. I think it's a really, really perfect size for an office. So I think that's it for this level. Let's go upstairs and we'll check it out. Follow me. All right, everyone. So we've made our way to the second level of this penthouse. Now we're going to continue this way. This is the master bedroom. You've got custom built-ins, a nice gas fireplace, and you have his and hers bathrooms, which is really cool. We're gonna come this way. 
you have her closet. You can just go in there and just show them a quick little look. And then we have her bathroom, which is very different from his bathroom. This is very light and airy. Um, I love the accent color on the tub. That's really cool. Um, Victoria Albert is the brand, if anyone's curious. Again, more of the brush brass detail. You know, with the white, it really pops. I really love it a lot. You have very nice tile work. And you also have a recessed shelf here for all of your shampoos, conditioners, everything you might need. Moving along, we're gonna go to this side of the bedroom and we have his closet, which is the exact same layout um, in there. And then his bathroom is on the sinister side with it being very dark and you also have this Toto toilet um, and which is really nice if you need to clean up. Again, you have recessed shelf here for all of your essentials, more gold. I just think, you know, it really hits. What do you think, Roman? The vibe in this bathroom is completely different than the other one. Definitely, definitely. This, this is giving me more Playboy vibes, this bathroom, than the other one. Now, continuing the tour, we're gonna walk down this long hallway and we're gonna enter the second bedroom on this level. So a very nice size and you have the ensuite with the nice subway tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling, a nice little glass panel there. And again, more brush to gold accents. Very, very nice. So these aren't finished, but it's cool because as soon as you open the door, the lights come on. Um, but I mean, you definitely could install custom closets, shelving, drawers, anything you might need, racks. Um, somebody who would probably live in this room, you know, might be a teenager or something. Um, and you could also, you know, put a bigger uh, dresser there as well. Okay, so continuing the tour this way, we're gonna make our way down the hallway and this would be your laundry room area which is a generous size. We've got a nice sink there and a side-by-side -side Electrolux machines. And then this is really cool uh, because, you know, it's built in. You've got your built-in ironing board there, which is, you know, conveniently tucked out of the way. Um, I think that that's super nice. And continuing the tour this way, we've got more closet space. And then we have another massive bedroom for anyone who might have twins, this might be perfect for them. And then you have this really nice bathroom. Again, glass panels, you've got the chevron floors. Um, again, all of the gold brass detail. Very, very, very nice. And then again, in this room, you've got that same closet where when you open the doors, the light comes on. Really nice feature. So yeah, I think that that wraps up this space. Let's go downstairs and wrap up our thoughts on this property. All right, everyone, that wraps up this home tour. Let me know in the comment section below what were your favorite features of this property. I know for myself, I really love the exposed structural element underneath the staircase. I love the neutral tones all the way throughout and just the history behind this fantastic one-of-a-kind property. In my personal opinion, at $2.895 million, I think it's an extreme steal just because this is a one of one. There's only one original Playboy Mansion and the fact that you could have a piece of history, I just think there's only room for this property to go up in value as time goes on. So with that said, don't forget to turn that notification bell on. Like I promised, I've got a ton of heat coming this year. You don't want to miss out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.